You have the key, Don Webster. I still have to find out what that key opens. Reading is the key, Don Webster. Read, Dawn. Every day of her life has been documented. You're Lyle's father. I'm delighted you've made it, Dawn Webster. And I don't care how many legal documents indicate you bear my name. You will always be Dawn Webster to me. You've been doing some reading, I see. Yes, I've never read so fast. The story of Ariana's life. Fifty volumes of self-aggrandizing goals, secrets, and vendettas. Did you find any parallels? Anything with which you could identify? Oh, a date. A date sticks in my mind. A date? And what would that date be? Um, March 30th, 1999. The date of the car accident. The one that paralyzed Lyle and killed... Inscribed Mrs. Ariana. Don't be afraid, Don Webster. You've come to the right place. And in tribute to your namesake, you're about to become a dictionary all your own. A walking book of knowledge. You're not telling me that I'm dead? Of course. You have been for some time. But from what I've heard and learned about you, Don Webster, you're many other things as well. You're particularly drawn to people of certain social strata. People of clout. People of power and control. I am not dead. What a shame that you've never learned that people of power only became as such because they mastered certain powers. My dear, there are plenty of living, breathing people who are dead. And many more of the dead or very much alive. You read the entry from March 30th, 1999? My faithful and doting wife, Ariana, planned for me to be killed. Of course, it would be an unfortunate accident, but the inspiration for my untimely demise began with a prenuptial agreement. Sound familiar? <laughs> Only my terms were a little more stringent. We would have to remain together 30 years before she could claim any authority. She reached her breaking point so she thought she could take me out of the equation completely. But she didn't know who she was dealing with. It backfired. She couldn't kill me, Dawn Webster, because I was already dead. And you will learn after a time that for some people there is no difference between life and death, because when the need to control and to dominate overtakes one's life, you give up your capacity to be human. And in that barter, you get self-preservation, the key to immortality, because nothing could ever hurt you again. But the price you pay is never being able to love, and it all becomes a sick, twisted game in which there are no winners. Look at Ariana. She finally became on the outside what she's always been on the inside, a mask for darkness and for ugliness. And Lyle, more like his father than even he is aware, 
his dignity paralyzed by a gold-digging tramp who couldn't love if she wanted to. I know about love. Oh, and you will, because your ragweed-headed statue with a pulse is going to teach you. Although you aren't going to like the lessons, and the final examination will be a killer. <laughs> but let us not forget, you're already dead. Price tags, Dawn Webster. You have this knowledge now, and there was a reason I chose to give it to you. Because you are going to take it back to the illusion known as reality. And from the moment you awaken, you will start paying.